you know, fellas, I'm going to take the commanding lead in this one. I already have a score of 10 to 4. No, you don't. It's 5 to 4, and you know this. And you know what? I may have lost my title, but next pay-per-view, it's payback time. Welcome to TFM Pod, otherwise known as a few show podcast. This is 24-7 Lou and that. It's Rick Hard, and you're listening to the best show on YouTube. Hands down. Debate me. Yeah, and that's... The one-man band, the, the, the former champion, but I'm going to get my belt back. Yep, folks, this is going to be... This is a, our prediction show for WWE's Payback 2020. Uh, the real show, not the throwaway show. Ah, okay. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> so yeah, this folks. has throwaway show written all over it. Look at that match lineup. Oh yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get to it in a second here. But yeah, you listen to the best show on YouTube, as Rick Hart said. Take that, Bogey. So now we're gonna start off our predictions here. Just, just, just to remind everyone. Uh, we're gonna start our predictions here for this one. We're gonna kick it off quickly with. We heard this matchup being made on SmackDown. It's going to be Matt Riddle versus King Corbin. So I'll go first in this one. I think that for this match, our winner will be, I think, Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle gets that, keeps on riding that push, keeps on riding that wave. Bro. So, yeah, I'm going to pick Matt Riddle to win this one. And uh, they're, again, using King Corbin just to, I don't know, his heel role, I guess. So, yeah, there we go, Matt Riddle to win it. Rick Hart, who do you have? Lou, all I got to say to that uh, prediction is, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one. Uh, oh. Number one, number one, Baron Corbin has been made to live in this rivalry. And he's got Shorty G waiting in the wings. I wish we could call him Chad Gable, but that's besides the point. Number two, this is a throwaway pay-per-view. This, ma- this pay-per-view is designed to give us finishes that we're not going to like. So, no. standard throwaway pay-per-view format, Baron Corbin gets the win. Ooh. And uh, Matt Riddle, th- and this keeps the rivalry going. So, I'm going to say Baron Corbin gets the win. Okay. Okay, Baron, okay, Baron Corbin. And one-man band, who do you have? Uh, nah, I, I, I think Matt Riddle. I think Matt Riddle's going to take it. He's... Uh, He's still new. I mean, he's still new in the in the in the main roster, and I, I think I think he needs I think he needs a uh, a push of sorts. And I think Baron Corbin is the perfect person for him because Baron Corbin is pretty much bulletproof. He doesn't no no matter what happens, he could win, he could lose, that won't matter. And and I think I, I think uh, he's the perfect person for Matt Riddle, so he can he can elevate Matt Riddle so that he can move on to the next phase. So I'm gonna go with Matt Riddle, bro. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next match we're gonna have is gonna be Dominic Mysterio, Rey Mysterio versus Seth Rollins, and don't call him Buddy Murphy. All right, <laughs> Ricard, who do you have? All right. So I was wrong about Dominic Mysterio winning his debut match, mm-hmm. unfortunately. Yeah. Why? Uh, at SummerSlam. Uh, you know, five, 15 years later, I really thought, you know, after finding out who his real dad would be, he, he'd get a really good story. But whatever. Moving on. Uh, if the Mysterios don't get a, a level of revenge at SummerSlam, they're going to get it at Payback. So, the Mysterios get a win. Ooh, so okay. going to say the Mysterios. going to pick- say the Mysterios beat Murphy and Seth Rollins. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. One man band. Who do you have? Uh, I am going I'm in the sentiment that since this is a tag team and it's Dominic and Rey Mysterio, I have a feeling that they're going to win. And I think that Buddy Murphy is going to take the pin. I think that's how they're going to protect Seth Rollins so that, that the, uh, the Mysterios are going to win, but Buddy or Murphy, don't call him Buddy, is going to take the pin. And then probably that'll cause something between Seth Rollins and, and Murphy. So. But yeah, the Mysterios I see are gonna are gonna take it. Good follow up. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, Murphy's Murphy's gonna get get that pin. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. My turn to pick on this one, fellas. It was nice not picking with you. So I am going to pick the winner of this match to be Seth Rollins and don't call him Buddy Murphy. Reason. Wow. Reason. It, it, it's just to show the dominance that Seth Rollins has over the 
Ray Mysterio, the the Mysterio family. I don't think that uh, that 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 uh, they win it. I think he's gonna piss us off a little more. Thanks, Vince. And I think Seth Rollins wins this one. So that's my pick. Come on, Lou. You're doing it for the points. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, the for only your thing I'm going to say mean, is you forget, you forget the standard WWE trope. Uh, heels lose, and then for some reason they just get an automatic rematch some, somewhere down the line on another show. <laughs> Okay. Where they do the actual, where they do the actual finish, because it's not going to be on a filler throwaway pay per view like Payback. All righty, all right, we'll see, we'll see. All right, next matchup we're going to have. I talk about, we're talking about Keith Lee, newly uh, member of uh, Raw, against the Legend Killer Randy Orton. One man band. Who do you have? Um. I think seeing seeing is how Randy Orton lost at SummerSlam, and Keith Lee just came up to the roster, uh, to the main roster. I have a feeling it's going to be Randy Orton. Randy Orton's going to take the win. Ed is in a, it's going to end up being a rubber match, and and then I think what will happen is you know, the Keith Lee will take the split. But for payback purposes, I think I don't think Randy Orton's going to take two losses in a row. So, so I think I'm gonna say Randy Orton takes this one. Alrighty, all right, Randy Orton. Okay, now in this one, I agree with you on this one. I think Randy Orton is gonna win this one. And after about a week ago or so, we were so happy about Randy Orton doing good, and and uh, yeah. and, and about a, not a week, about a month, a whole month ago, we were all happy about oh the push. He's gonna be champion. I think somebody here, one of the shows, said it. Yeah, he's gonna be champion. I, They're yeah. gonna give it to him. I, and I was like, I said, I said that. Oh, okay, I said okay. That, yeah. And, you know, we were feeling good about it. And now you're bringing Keith Lee. We're like, wait. I mean, how? I hope they're not derailing whatever you built up with Randy Orton just to give Keith Lee a win. I, I think I think Keith Lee can take the loss. Um, and and I picked Randy Orton to win this one. To build uh, much more tension for uh, against, against McIntyre later on. So, Ricard, who do you have? All right, so... In my heart of hearts, I really want Keith Lee to win. However, the realist in me knows that this is a throwaway pay per view, <laughs> and this is gonna be this is gonna be very disappointing for people as fans. So what I think is gonna happen is Randy Orton is gonna destroy Keith Lee, punt him, and then a couple weeks later, Keith Lee is gonna appear back on NXT. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. He's gonna all right, punt him right, back. Right. Maybe, maybe <laughs> he's gonna punt him back, and he's gonna say, "Go back to that place." Go back to that place where they where they where they slap their knees. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It won't be that severe. It won't be that severe. Um, uh, I st- for some reason I want to say Keith Lee gets the win, but for safety's sake, because I I can't be taking these risks with the score as it is. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say Randy. I'm gonna agree with you guys and say Randy Orton gets the win. Wait a minute. You're going with us because of the score. <laughs> Come on! It, this is this is probably the most unpredictable match on the on the card, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Because because you got two you got two wrestling like tropes where they both have a they're both entering a match they have to win. You know you got Keith Lee who's just making his debut on pay per view and on the main roster going up against Randy Orton, the guy who was the Who's still being booked as a strong number one contender? Right. Who lost? Who lost by a fluke, pretty much, or like by chance, to uh, Drew McIntyre in the championship match. Mm-hmm. So they both they they both have a reason to not lose this match. Yet WWE showed us in the last pay per view that it doesn't matter if it's your debut match <laughs> on the main roster on pay per view or whatever, you can still lose to a big enough star. And Randy Orton is a big enough star, so. Randy Orton gets the win. I'll, I'll, I'll do that as the logic okay. behind my pick. All right, here we go. But also, also for the points. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next match. Hashtag, hashtag FTP <laughs> <laughs> for the points. All right. Next matchup we're gonna have. We're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Apollo Cruz versus Bobby Lashley for the WWE United States Championship. I'll go first on this one. I think that uh, I know that. We did pick against Apollo Crews before in our previous shows, and someone who, not to be named, who picked later, 
picked Apollo Crews to win and was correct and won. I think, but in this one, I think it's going to be a little bit different. I think it's going to be Bobby Lashley that wins this one. So I'm picking Bobby Lashley to win to win the the United States Championship. Ricard, going to agree with you. Uh, you guys forget that I I called an audible on the Apollo Crews MVP match at SummerSlam, <laughs> and went with you guys. Uh, I I. Uh, an audible? Uh, you're putting audible now? What? What? No, no, I'm not am calling I, an audible I, on I, this what, one. What? Bobby Lashley. <laughs> this this ties in with my with the booking I had in mind, <laughs> which was Apollo Cruz finishes his rivalry with MVP and then goes on to lose it to somebody else. Because he is. You guys made good points. He is a weak champion. Yeah, it is. The only thing the only thing I had going was I was like, oh yeah, MVP is the leader of the stable. For her business, so why wouldn't he be be U.S. champ? But it's it's been proven or shown he doesn't be he's the mouthpiece. He doesn't have to be champion to yeah. to be the leader. So Bobby Lashley, solid win. He beats Apollo Cruz. Apollo Cruz goes back to his job squad and uh, <laughs> you know figures yeah. out where where his career went wrong. <laughs> job squad. <laughs> Bobby Lashley, Bobby Lashley with the win. Will Cedric Alexander interfere? Hmm, let's find out. All right, one-man band, who do you have? Uh, yeah, I uh, I normally don't like to go completely in agreement with you guys. but <laughs> What? Uh, normally, normally. I like to be the guy that goes out on the limb, but, but no, nah, this one, this one I, I just... What I said, what I said about Apollo Cruz at SummerSlam, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy and paste to this one. <laughs> okay, he's gonna because double it, down. He's gonna double down. I, I just, like I said, I, I'm, I'm not sold on Apollo Cruz. I'm sorry. Um, Apollo Cruz has really done nothing with, with the belt. He's done nothing of meaning, and I just think that it's time, it's time to give the belt to somebody else. Bobby Lashley has had the U.S. belt before. Um, I think it's time to give it to him again. He's been doing some solid work. Um, yeah, I, I just, I just, I think it's time. I think it's time to put Apollo Cruz on the back burner, and like, like Rickard said, tell him where his career went wrong, and oh. and just go from there. It's just, it's just. Here's my thing. I keep every time I see Apollo Cruz, I keep remembering his debut match and JBL saying after he won the first match, he's got Mega Star written all over him. And look what what has happened with him. Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. So it's just like it's ruined it for me. So so that's that. I, so I, I'm gonna say yeah, Bobby Lashley. Yeah. He'll have his his Kofi Kingston moment in about five years or so. We'll <laughs> uh, Try twelve. Oh, <laughs> I was adding the other years he had on him already, but okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so okay, so next um, matchup we're gonna have is gonna be uh, Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax for the women's tag team championship. And uh, who goes first in this one? Uh, Rick Hart, go ahead. All right, so let me start by saying how confused I was that I having not followed up on Raw live the night after SummerSlam because I was a bit downtrodden at having lost points. <laughs> okay. Um, I I was like, all right, let's see what happened on Raw because I said, oh yeah, payback's coming up, so I got to be ready for that. I look at the review of what happened on Raw, and out of nowhere, I see Sasha Banks and Bailey defending against Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, which, mind you, those two were at each other's throats like yeah. for weeks, and I'm just like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> so. I see that, and I, I find out that the the logic behind it is the only two people they the, the only people they dislike more than each other is Sasha Banks and Bailey, which is why they decided to team up against those two. Now, the match is obviously going to have a dynamic where they're both B- Banks and Bailey are going to get tossed around, one hundred percent. Like if if that's not the dynamic of the match, then I don't know what WWE is thinking because it's obvious the only thing that that can really cause Shayna and Nia Jax to lose is they internally dissent against each other and cost each other the match. One of them walks out on the other, which I don't think will happen. Oh, I don't think it'll happen. They'll tease it. 
they'll tease it. Banks and Bailey will be the unite because because there's an old saying that says nothing brings two people together more than the hatred mutual hatred of someone else. <laughs> uh, so I think they'll stick with that storytelling. Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax will win the tag titles and then lose it later on down the line against another team that they don't dislike as much. Uh, so I'm going to say uh, team over 500 pounds wins. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, shit. Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax the win. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Well, man, band, who do you have? Ouch! First off, uh, <laughs> man, <laughs> what that could be a compliment. Muscle weighs more than fat. Well, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, but uh, Baszler is pretty built. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll move on. Uh, but uh, <laughs> so here's so here's my my preface Here for life. this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bailey and Sasha were they, they came out today on SmackDown and were talking about you know how they were the tag team champions, but at the same time Bailey was like ripping at her, talking about I should have never let you go up against Oscar, but I know you wanted to be a two belt champion like like me, and you know and, and then now you you don't have it. I'm sorry, you're still your best friend kind of deal, and you can see Sasha with the faces that she was making, mm-hmm. you know like like oh uh, you know I'm over it. And then even Bailey kind of made a dig at her at her outfit, saying, "Oh, we're gonna move along because it looked like a cow." Yeah, and, and, cow pants. yeah. So I still th- see. Here's my thing: the the team of Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax makes absolutely no sense in this in the in the context of. So they said, "Oh, the only thing we hate more than each other is Bailey and Sasha." I was like, "Okay, well, you guys just literally met, so." You know, it's it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. What I think is gonna happen though, I think there's gonna be teasing moments of Sasha and Bailey. You know, like they're, they're gonna tease a dissension, and but they're they're gonna they're gonna pull together they're gonna pull together at the last moment and win the belts. But I will say this, they're they're not long they're not long for the tag team titles. They're not long. Like they're they're gonna be they're gonna probably lose it within the next few weeks. I would say. All right, so you're picking Sasha and Bailey. Yeah, you pick a Sasha. Already, okay, okay. My turn to pick here. All right, for this one, I, I like I like how they teased a lot of things going on on SmackDown, and I think that the yeah, I think that we're we're on the road there to setting up the the, the split between uh, Bailey and Sasha. How many times have I said that already? Like last like few, six months, but yeah, I think we're <laughs> we're on that road. Quote me now, don't. But uh, I do believe that uh, uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler do. Win the titles, win the titles, and and a big rift. Something occurs at the end of the match between Sasha and Bailey. So that, that's where I think that goes. That's my pick. So, Shayna, Shayna Baszler, and Jax? Yes. Put it on the board. Okay. So here's here's my here's my follow up to to that prediction. By the way, because a lot of people are wondering how they're going to do it. So here's what I'm going to say. If you want this to be Good. Here's 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 the proposal I would throw out there. Let's go with the team hell no booking, mm. right? So you have Nia Jax and Shayna disagreeing with each other, trying to one up each other during the match. Like, yeah, anything you could do, I could do better. And then at some point, Nia Jax goes to the top of uh, the, like the top rope or the middle rope. Yeah. And Shayna Baszler just like knocks her out, and Nia falls. Off the top rope, flattens Sasha Banks, <laughs> and then because she's on top of her, gets the cover and the pinfall, and then Shayna Baszler walks out with both women's tag titles, <laughs> and she goes, and then she goes, "I'm the tag team champions." Oh my oh, god! Wow. <laughs> and I don't think, and I don't think, uh, I don't, I don't think they'll they'll uh, lose it that fast if they uh, if they do win. Because um, I think you got you can do the same like oh there's other teams we don't like as much. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got the Iconics. Oh yeah. All and right. oh they can't do Kabuki Warriors. Damn. No no. Okay so they're gonna lose it to the Iconics. Yep. Okay there we go. <laughs> <laughs> An extra bold prediction. Oops. 
extra bold prediction, which <laughs> is in agreement with yours, Lou, so here's hoping it, it works. <laughs> yeah, I know. Here we go. Next matchup. Uh, it's going to be uh, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, the new champion, versus Roman Reigns with his new teeth. Bronze and Braun Strowman, shaved head Braun Strowman, in a no holds barred triple threat match for the WWE Universal Championship. One man band, who do you have? Oh, uh, yeah, let me just say I'm glad one man band goes first. Yeah, seriously, right? <laughs> I bet. Yeah, and you go last. <laughs> All right, I am. I, I have a feeling that there's going to be, there's gonna be a, a change. Um, oh, so I I think I think Roman Reigns is gonna win it, and being because he just came back, he's sporting those new veneers, those new great teeth. He's got to show them off to the world, and I we just saw that you know Paul Heyman just popped up, and and looks like he's gonna be the advocate for the big dog. And I think that, that that to me was was step number one to get Roman Reigns back on top. And you know Bray Bray Fiend, however, does not need the belt. In my opinion, he does not need the belt. He's he's uh he's an entity of his own where he can be without a belt and still be just as as menacing. And I think they need to put the belt on Roman because he's he's their face, even though he's gonna be a heel. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is the, the their face of the company in sorts. And they need they need somebody that can take them over to to WrestleMania. And I have a feeling it's it's he's gonna be the guy. So he's probably gonna be the he's gonna be the champ for at least probably till till SummerSlam or obviously not SummerSlam till uh, WrestleMania, or or maybe at the very least till the Royal Rumble. Ooh, so okay. yeah, so I think I think Roman Reigns. I think Roman Reigns is gonna is gonna win this. All right, all right, my turn to pick. All right, in this match, yes, uh, I do agree with almost almost everything that you said there with that uh, with that pick, but I must add one thing. Even though I agree with you, I do agree with you on this one. I'm going to add one thing. One thing is the face that runs the place. It's not AJ Styles. It's Roman Reigns. Now that he's back, they're going to put him back on there. And, yeah, and now especially with uh, Paul Heyman ne- next to him, yeah, they're, 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 going, to ride, they're going to ride their their, their their guy. Their guy. They're going to ride him all the way through. So, yeah, probably, uh, yeah, like you said, a WrestleMania or something like that. But, yeah, my pick in this one is going to be Roman Reigns. If they were trying to sell me to – to go for Roman Reigns, guess what? I'm sold. So, there we go. That's my pick. One man back. Um, sorry, Ricard, who do you have? All right, guys. So, get uh, get ready for a pretty good transition because uh, we're going to have a transitional champion. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to agree with you guys. Roman Reigns is your new universal champion. And the follow-up for that is pretty simple. You're going to have Roman Reigns win in fairly decisive fashion, unfortunately for the Fiends. Uh, I hope I hope that the Alexa Bliss thing is going to get picked up again with, with him and Strowman one more time, somewhere down the line. As far as who's going to fight Roman after this is over, simple. Reigns wins the triple threat. He's got the title in hand, overhead. He's got Heyman in the ring clapping him. And then you just have Lesnar's music hit. Oh Lord! Wow! And you have wow. and you have Lesnar confront Reigns, wondering wondering why Paul's with him, and Paul's going to try to defuse the situation. The buildup's going to be oh uh, you know Heyman trying to trying to get along, going along to get along with both of them, and then you're going to have a match between Reigns and Lesnar, Hell in a Cell. They haven't done they. It's the only way to make that rivalry fresh. Because they haven't had that mess before, and is, Lesnar is that the is next pay per view? Uh, it's the October pay per view, and I think it's the oh, early October pay per view. There we go. Uh, so, unless it's a September pay per view, with Helena Cell. Helena Cell. Helena Cell is the October pay per view normally. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, I don't know if they have a September pay per view. That's the only thing. I think yeah, payback I think, is uh, uh, Night of Champions. I think it's September. Okay, if Night of Champions is a September pay per view, then maybe you have one more filler match between that. But I, I, I think I think Lesnar versus Reigns is uh, is your go to. Yeah. And uh, it'll be interesting because it, it Hell in a Cell freshens up the the the, the rivalry one because they haven't fought in there before, even though they have encountered each other. In Hell in a Cell, when Lesnar interrupted Strowman versus Reigns for the title. That's true. Uh, and interesting fact: Lesnar is undefeated in Hell in a Cell. He's two and zero. Ironically, both wins are against the Undertaker, but that's another point entirely. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, and, but yeah, Reigns is going to get that heel heat because he's going to dis- he's. Even though he's got one win over Lesnar one on one, it's it's tarnished in the sense that there was involvement by Strowman on the outside. It was never clean. This is your way to get Reigns solidly as a heel and solidly looking like a beast. You have him destroy Re- Lesnar. Mm. All right. And Strowman and Strowman and the Fiends, all that good stuff. Okay. Plus, I'm a huge fan of that shirt that he has. Arrive. Wreck everyone, leave. That is a cool shirt. It's a it's a good play on uh, Austin's uh, <laughs> Austin's uh, two thousand two thousand one shirt. Oh, I remember that one. Arrive, raise hell, leave. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there we go. We we all pick Roman Reigns to win it. All right, so like uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting uh, pay per view we're gonna have. It'll be yes, slim slim margins of victory for us. Yes. Yeah. Who will win? We all know that already. Oh yeah, me. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no. I hope you're ready to be a transitional champion 24/7. Oh! oh!